Tonight was getting warmed up. I saw your, your left foot was taped up a little heavily. Did you did you maybe possibly twist your ankle earlier this week or something? Oh uh, yeah, I had a broken ankle. Nah, I'm playing. Yeah, I just had my ankle tape. Uh, I had both of them tape. Uh, it's just, I, know, I guess it's for support. Yeah. Hey, KJ, uh, I saw when you all were drawing five or six false starts on Georgia Tech um, with those penalties. And I saw you specifically pointing, and with the line movement you guys were doing, was that something you guys came up with as a defense, or did you get that from the sideline? Um, definitely, you know, something we <clears throat> try to incorporate as a defense. We're trying to add new layers, you know, to what we got a more experienced group this year. Um, so just trying to add new layers to everything we do. Um, you know, didn't know it was going to work that well, but it was, it was a very successful night when it came to, you know, that category and, and moving around. So that was good that, you know, in game one that it worked to our advantage. What was the uh, tech defense doing um, in the first half, particularly to uh, to make things difficult on on your offense? Uh, what, was it much different from what you saw from them last year? Uh, no, they did a lot of similar stuff, but they threw a lot out, uh, a lot at us, man. Uh, dropped a lot of guys, buzzed a lot of linebackers, ran a lot of a lot of spinning with the safeties, on the one high, one weak, three rack. Uh, did a little bit of twenty six emperor a couple times, but they just had, they had, they had some good uh, good calls dialed up for them when we had plays on third down. One of them, they dropped right into each each uh, each window we had for the routes, and I did the check down. But they did a good job in the first half. Did some really good stuff. DJ, could you take us through that play? You had to improvise off the blitz, and then you had the lateral, the Shipley, and then, you know what that did momentum-wise for you guys, and what what you saw on that play. Yeah, uh, one of the I think it was the third and four, third and five, and it was third down. Uh, we had a, we had a play call caught up. We had a good defense for it. To it, uh, try to get out of pocket. Uh, kind of got stopped. Just trying just to buy time, be able to get the ball away. And I was going to the ground, kind of looked to my left, see Shipley standing right there, and I just pitched it to him. And he did the rest. He made a great run, getting the first down, just kept the drive alive. And I think we scored a touchdown on that drive, I think. Hey, DJ, I feel like the offense was uh, starting to improve and get into more like a groove as the game went on. How important is that to you? And what are you noticing within the game as like it progresses? Yeah, no, I feel like as the offense, we got more comfortable, especially coming out at halftime. We got two big drives to put together. Uh, a lot of third down conversions that was really well, and I feel like we just kind of hit our rhythm. You know, first game, kind of got to get your feet wet a little bit, but I feel like as an offense, we did a really good job uh, keeping the drives alive. Killed, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot in the beginning of the first half a little bit, stop drives, easy stuff. But as the game went on, I feel like we got more comfortable, and that was, that was a good thing to see. DJ, for you in particular in the second half, do you feel like you you started hitting a rhythm, and at what point did you kind of kind of feel like, man, oh, I'm I'm starting to really get comfortable out here? Yeah, no, I definitely feel like the second half, uh, I feel like it was two big drives. Philly really felt good. Throwing the ball wide, I felt like he was just out there playing, just having fun. Uh, I felt confident out there. Uh, it just, just kind of, the game kind of slowed down. You know, you, sometimes when you play as a, a quarterback, receiver, running back, anybody on defense, the game starts to slow down. So when that game starts to slow down, it's, it's real fun. It makes the game a lot easier. DJ, uh, how satisfying was this for uh, for you in particular? Because obviously, as a quarterback, you receive uh, you know the praise and the criticisms. So for you, how how satisfying was this win for you? Uh, I feel like man, it was just this exciting. I just had fun. You know, it was exciting. Uh, kind of look at all that, man. I'm just excited to get a team win. I felt like as a team, we played great tonight. Uh, special teams had an amazing job. I mean, they had two block punts. Uh, Coach Sweeney said I think it's been 15 years since we had that in a game. We had two block punts, and it gave a short field. And like Coach Sweeney says, the main objective each week is to play complimentary football. So I feel like we did a really good job on defense. The defense only gave up 10 points tonight. Kind of put them in a couple bad spots uh, a couple times, but man, they played a great game. And offense felt like we did a really good job. We moved the ball when we needed to, we <coughs> scored points, and we had big drives when we really needed it. So I feel like that was, it was a great day today overall. DJ, hey, how did that, um, that, ooh, that, that first play with that Andrew McCuba getting that interception, how did that set the tone uh, for you guys, and how important was that to just get off, right, right, get off on the right foot? Yeah, I thought, um, I thought it was a great play by Kuz, by one. Um, just a great job of just finding it in the bright lights and, and you know, making, making a play. I think it, it set the tone for the game, honestly. Um, you know, like DJ alluded to, <clears throat> didn't get to the best start on offense, but at the same time, you know, it let us know that like we were here, you know, as a team, not just as a defense. And um, once the, once they came in and, and really picked it up, and the ball just kept rolling, so uh, it was exciting. You know, I, I mean, it's, it should be illegal to have that much fun. You know, in one setting, I thought it was it was crazy, but that was that was a good time.
DJ on your on your touchdown run, and you turned around and looked at 97 as he's trying to come after your feet. It was a big moment, I'm sure, for you. What were you thinking during that run, and what were your emotions? Were you letting out, you know, some frustrations finally breaking through there? Like, yeah. Disrespectful, boy. You disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was, I was, high. I was excited. Um, I think it was Walker. He had a great kickoff block on, uh, on the wheel right there, and a great block. He made it real easy on me. It's kind of a walking touchdown. I was just excited. And I was just real hyped up, right into the end zone. Uh, probably, probably won't do that next time. Maybe I might get a flag, but I was just excited. DJ, I know everybody made a lot out of your uh, slimming down some this offseason, and, and part of that was being more mobile. You did get to run a good bit in this game. Did you feel comfortable doing it? And how do you feel like that part of the game, of your game, impacted the overall offense? Yeah, I feel like I feel like I run the ball all right. I had a couple good runs, but sometimes, man, it, it tripped me up. I, feel, I was kind of pissed. I just got my feet. I feel like I just get my knees up. Could had a lot more running yards. Could expose. Could have got a couple more first downs. One of one of the calls went out. I think it was, it was like a draw. Should have pressed. Should have pressed the block a little bit more. Stayed inside. Could have had a bigger run. But overall, it was good. Thought I ran the ball solid. Uh, didn't have a lot to work on, but it was good though. DJ, what did you see from Antonio Williams tonight, and how can he kind of continue to be more of a part of the offense? Uh, I feel like I've seen the same stuff I've seen in practice from Antonio. Uh, he's done an amazing job this whole summer. Uh, in fall camp, he's done an amazing job making plays. Whenever he gets the ball, he makes the most of it. And I feel like he did the exact same thing tonight, so it's exciting to see. And I figured that he was exactly going to do that. He said he was a grown man, and he showed it tonight. <laughs> Any other questions for these gentlemen? Thank you, guys. Oh, 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 if we got another one, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> With DJ, the uh, the fumble there in the, the first half, it looked like you might have been down. Uh, they, the, the field on the on the, uh, the call on the field stood. Did you feel like you were down on that before the ball came out? Uh, I don't think it really matters. Uh, I got to cover the ball up. Got to do a better job being in the red zone. Uh, I mean, that's that's even if I was down, if I wasn't, uh, that's, that's a careless mistake by me. I got to do a better job holding the ball down, going to the ground, and being aware of that, knowing defenders are going to punch the ball out. I feel like I just got to do a better job of that. That's on me. Uh, DJ, I'm curious, how much did you talk to Cade during the game, and what did you think of that last drive that he had? I thought it was a great drive, man. Uh, he did exactly what he does in practice. Uh, I think he says he went, uh, I don't know, he had, I think he had 49 yards passing, mm -hmm. touchdown. Uh, the one play I was really good to see was on the rollout, where they ran, I think they went too, I think they went cloud strong. Mm -hmm. He hit the whole shot right there on, on the switch burke. He did a really good job of that. And he just poised out there, man. You tell him, man, he's out there confident playing. Playing with a lot of a lot of confidence, he just looked great. Uh, I mean, I expect nothing less from him. Played great, had a great drive, and excited to see man. He's a good player, man. He's gonna be a baller. Hey KJ, being that this is your last year, how much of an appreciation for every W you put up do you have going into every game? Man, I, like I said, you know, the other day <coughs> during uh, my first media session, every win, I'm dancing my tail off, and that's what I was just doing. I was going crazy in there, man. Y'all should have seen it. Um, but I, just such a great appreciation because, like Coach Sweeney alluded to last year, there definitely were some times where, you know, himself and, and I as well felt like that, you know, we just, like, expected to win, knowing that, you know, just like Georgia Tech and every other team we play, they got scholarship players too who are coming, you know, from families who want to see them do well, you know, as well. So um, anytime we can, you know, have a successful day, do our part, um, and bring it together for a win, man, you just got to celebrate it. And uh, I'm excited to get back to that. Any other questions? Miss Sweeney, you got anything? You good? Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. DJ, KJ, thank you all. Thank you. Appreciate you guys, man.